Breaking news, a jury has just reached a verdict in a lawsuit involving the death of former San Diego Police Crime Lab employee Kevin Brown. Moments ago, the jury awarded $6 million in damages to the widow, Rebecca Brown, for the death of her husband. The jury agreed that a San Diego police detective abused his authority when he lied in a search warrant and seized property outside the scope of that warrant and that Kevin Brown committed suicide as a result of an abusive police investigation. Earlier today, video of the police interrogation of Kevin Brown was released by the court. News 8 producer David Gopperson obtained the video, which you will only see on News 8. The bag was sealed and had the initials of so-and-so on it. Sure. It's shaky hidden camera video recorded by San Diego police detectives in 2014. I do an inventory. The officers questioned the former crime lab worker about how his sperm DNA could have been found on vaginal swabs taken from a teenager named Claire Huff, who was found raped and murdered on Torrey Pines Beach in 1984. What other explanation as to how your semen could have got in that girl? Uh, obviously, I must have had sex with it. I don't know. This was the first time detectives had interviewed Brown, and he was taken by surprise. He didn't mention that during the 1980s, crime lab workers kept their own semen samples in the lab to use as control samples. Instead, Brown told the officers he did know a girl named Claire back in the 1980s. The name Claire, that's the name of the girl, right? Yeah. kept popping up in my memory. Brown remembered he and a friend named Mike actually met two girls. Mike met these two girls. And I believe one of them was Claire. Um, we went back, I believe so that we went back to the place that they were staying at, which was the Holiday Inn, and I believe I had sex with her. The officers then showed Brown a photo of the murder victim, Claire Huff. As it turned out, it was not the same Claire, and during the police interviews, Brown repeatedly denies any involvement in the murder. In a subsequent interview, Brown finally brings up contamination in the lab as a possible explanation. How could that happen? How? I don't want Contamination. To know Contamination of evidence became the focus of the lawsuit filed by Brown's widow after Brown hanged himself in October 2014. David Gottfriedson, News 8. Once again, a verdict has just come down. The jury has awarded $6 million to Kevin Brown's widow. There could be more to come. The jury will return to court Tuesday to determine possible punitive damages in the case.